do you really want to get left behind? Do you want to miss the rapture? Do you want to be here for the great tribulation? I don't know what's so great about the great tribulation, but do you want to be here when the wrath of God is poured out on the earth? By God, man, I'm telling you, people think this is the judgment of God, the wrath of God. We're, we're living in the acceleration of Matthew chapter 24. Jesus said, when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, that means simultaneously when you see more earthquakes taking place daily and more earthquakes taking place daily than at any other time in the history of man, you know it's at the door. He talked about plagues and pestilences. The word plagues mentioned over 100 times in the Bible were coming, hopefully, out of the coronavirus. Where I reside in New York, we got this stake got hit the hardest. Now we're in race riots. Jesus said nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. That word nation in the Greek means ethnic groups against ethnic groups. We're seeing these protests, these riots, these fires due to the murder and the killing of Mr. George Floyd, and certainly as a minister of the gospel, my, consult, my condolences to him and his family, but the Lord spoke to me about a week ago. I'm so compelled, I'm so stirred, I'm so gripped. There's such an urgency, you can sense it in my voice. He said, what's in this book that David Wilkerson wrote in 1973 is coming to manifestation quicker than you think on the earth. These birth pangs, these contractions, it's unfolding before our eyes, friends. If you're a lukewarm Christian, Jesus said you can't serve two masses. Now it's by grace that we serve the Lord, his enabling power in our relationship with him that gives us the strength to overcome and live right. But I'm telling you, you got to get like you got to get right with Jesus today. And if you're not born again, I'm going to about two minutes. I'll give you an altar call. I'm going to give you the gospel. But let me read this to you. Imagine a whole nightmare full of terrors. Then multiply that horror a thousand times, pack it into the space of a few years. The home that hosts no God, no church, no spiritual teaching, no Bible is headed straight for disaster. Brother Wilkinson said, I'm not preaching now. I'm prophesying. We are entering into the great and terrible day of the Lord. Great if you're on God's side, not so good if you're not. The Lord separating the wheat from the tares, the sheep from the goat, angels, demons, heaven, hell. There's no more grayness. Elijah said, choose ye this day. If God's God, serve him. If Baal's God, serve him. Friends, you got to make up your heart, your mind. God, give me the strength. Get before him and worship, prayer, Bible study. Get in a good Christian Bible base, preaching and teaching church. Get under good teaching. Not some schmoes on YouTube that spew out bad doctrine and theology. And excuse my language, I'm from New York, but there's some bad doctrine and theology out there. But we're, we're, we're entering into perilous times. You do not want to miss the rapture and be here for this tribulation. You say, Rob, are you pre-trib, mid-trib, or post-trib? I'm ready. Jesus said, be ready. For if you knew when the thief was coming, you would have been home. And he dresses up in black tights, the thief. That devil wants to drag you and kill you and take you to hell. You must be born again. Jesus said, you must be born again to see the kingdom. Then he said, you must be born again to enter the kingdom. Before I give an altar call, please, I need your help as a minister of the gospel. Subscribe to my ministry channel. Share my videos. Watch them that are over six minutes. Give me thumbs up. Do not give me thumbs down. I'll find you. I'll pray for you. I'm just kidding. But Jesus comes by invitation only. God will never make you serve him. We're all eternal beings. No one's immortal under the sound of my voice. No one's found the fountain of youth. And we're all going to take our last breath one day. And when you do, you either go to heaven, that's life insurance, or you go to hell, that's fire insurance, a place that Jesus taught about in the Bible. Am I trying to scare the hell out of you? But hopefully, for some of you, I am. Say this prayer with me. It says, if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Come on, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. I want to pray for you. Father, I'm praying for everyone that hears this show. Light them on fire. Let them be radical for Christ. Let them not miss the rapture. Let them sell out for Jesus. Let them be 100%. No more lukewarmness. Get rid of this sin. Live right. Live pure. Live holy. By the grace of God, get in worship. Get in prayer. Get in the word of God. Friends, the Lord loves you in Jesus' name. I just felt um, there's an urgency to take in the harvest. 
I believe this is the greatest hour for the church. We're entering into the greatest harvest. We're going to reap the harvest. Jesus said, don't wait four months. He said, the harvest is right now. Pray for laborers. So, Lord, man, I'm just so stirred. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming, man. Get your life right. Get your life ready. Hallelujah. The Lord loves you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Brother Rob, he is signing out.